Hi everybody, this is Rob Harris, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Binance.com. I'm also going to show you how to uh, find IOTA. So the very first thing you need to do is, the very top right corner, click on the link that says register, and you're going to create an account. Once you've got an account created, you're going to log in, and you're going to see a page that looks just like this. And then on this page, what you're going to want to do is go to where it says funds, and then you're going to click on deposits, withdrawals. Once you click on that link, it's going to open up this page. Now this page shows a full list of all of your wallets that are in Binance.com. So all these wallets are yours uh, through Binance. So you can deposit cryptocurrencies, you can withdraw them from each of these wallets. So ideally, you've, you've already got Bitcoin somewhere else, whether it's in Coinbase or Exodus or Blockchain.info or BitPay, uh, whatever the case may be, wherever you've got Bitcoin, you need to get some of it into Binance.com. Well, first you need to find your Bitcoin wallet. The easy way to find that, because there's a pretty big list, is in that search box in the top left corner, you're going to type in BTC. And then it's going to pull up your Bitcoin wallet. So now what you're going to do is click on where it says deposit. And here it's going to show you your Bitcoin address that you could transfer your Bitcoins to. So either you're going to click on the whole link and, and copy it, or you can click on the button that says copy address. Or you can even click on the QR code, so if you've got a a BitPay app on your phone or even Coinbase, you can you can scan the QR code and then you can transfer it directly to this address. So those are your three options. But typically, you're just going to copy this. If you have Exodus, uh, you're going to click on where it says send in your other Bitcoin wallet, paste this address where you're going to be sending that Bitcoin to, and then usually within about 10 minutes to 30 minutes, unless there's a really uh, crazy day and the blockchain is running slow, uh, usually 10 to 30 minutes is all it takes for the transfer to be completed, um, but worst case, give it up to an hour. Once your Bitcoins have been moved into your uh, Bitcoin wallet on Binance.com, now you can actually make a conversion and convert your Bitcoin to any other coin. And the way the way you're going to do that is you're going to click on where it says Exchange. It gives you two options. Uh, it's just basically basic and advanced. It's just a, a different look of the uh, exchange itself. Basic is a lot easier um, to navigate through, so I recommend just click on Basic. And when you click on Basic, it's going to open up a page that looks like this. Well, now what you want to do is you want to find the coin you're looking for. So in this example, we're looking for IOTA. So in this search box, you're going to type in IOTA, and it's going to pull up IOTA slash BTC. You're going to click on that. When you click on that, it's going to open down in the middle section. Uh, two options where you can buy IOTA or you can sell IOTA. You don't have any yet, so there's nothing to sell. So what you want to do is be uh, making a purchase for it. Now, this account that I'm using currently has no Bitcoin in it. But if, uh, if it did, let's say there was 0.25 Bitcoins available, it would show in this balance right here. And then I can decide to use 25% of it, 50%, 75% or 100% of my Bitcoins to make that conversion. Or I could just type in the exact IOTA amount uh, that I want to convert to. Uh, whatever the case may be, uh, but usually when I'm making a deposit, I'm, I'm converting 100% of it. So I would click 100, and then I would just click on Buy IOTA. And then from there, sometimes it's it's happens within minutes, depending on the market, or it can happen up, you know, it could take up to an hour or longer for that conversion to take place. But at this point, you, you basically have converted your bitcoins into IOTA. Now, what you want to do is uh, you'll make a withdraw. So you're going to go back, actually at the very top you're going to find that link that says funds and then deposits withdrawals. So you're going to go back to that tab and it's going to take you back to this page. And on this page, let me just clear that out, um, you're going to see again all the different wallets again. And what you want to do is find your wallet for IOTA. Now it's important to know that from time to time. Uh, and this happens with all exchanges, uh, even in Exodus, uh, all of them, once in a while they might have the deposit section unavailable or the withdrawal section unavailable. Uh, in this case it says there's network congestion, withdrawal suspended. This is temporary, so usually within about 24 or 48 hours this clears up and then you'll be able to withdraw it. Uh, so in this case, you'll just simply uh, check back in in the next day or two and as soon as you can make that withdrawal, I highly recommend it. I never, I never like leaving any of my cryptocurrencies on any third-party exchange because the, the only concern, I guess, would be 
if something happened to Binance.com or any other uh, third-party exchange, then you'd have a very difficult time pulling your cryptocurrency out. And there's always a wallet for all these different cryptocurrencies that you can hold uh, the private key to. And, and, and that's the goal, is for you to be in possession, possession of your own private key. So in this case, what you want to do from here is just keep checking back in the next day or two. As soon as you can withdraw it, then do that. But you're going to also need to have a, an address to withdraw it to, which means you need to go to Google and type in IOTA Wallet. When you type in IOTA Wallet, you're going to see the second link right here, uh, which is uh, from github.com. And you're going to click on that. And here you can download and you can install uh, IOTA's Wallet. And, and there's two versions you're going to want to pay attention to. The .dmg is for Apple. So if you got a, a Mac computer, that's what you would install. If you got Windows, then you want to download the .exe. And then once you've downloaded it and set it up, uh, it'll give you a public address. And you're going to use that public address for when you uh, click on the withdraw link in IOTA. Um, and then that's what you're going to send it to. And other than that, that's it. So... I hope this video was helpful and uh, I look forward to making the next one. See you guys. Hey everyone, I wanna make this quick disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. Always do your due diligence, especially when it comes to cryptocurrency. Never invest any money into cryptocurrency that you're not willing to lose. These markets are unpredictable. They go up, they go down. And other than that, if you're enjoying my videos, please feel free to share them and I look forward to making the next one.